Yo, what's going on guys? All Around Reptiles here, and today we are going to be, uh, not in this room actually, we're gonna be, we are outside at the pond, and it's kind of raining on me from the trees. Um, it's a very wet day outside, but I said screw it, we are going to my local pond, and we're going to either get bass, bluegill, crappie, but currently we have about 30 to 40 goldfish in this pond. You can't really see them too well right now. There's a big ball of them. If I pretend to feed them, they will come up to me, um, which is really, 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 really cool. Uh, there they all come. And then we also have another, another big group. I just cleaned their water so you can actually see them. There's another large group in here. These will either be feeders or just grow out fish, but we have to get to Barth Pond, so... I'm gonna switch over to my phone camera to record all this, so uh, I will see you on this. Well, little detour here. I forgot that I don't have a fishing license, so I'm going to go quickly to Bass Pro Shop. I know you can buy one online, um, but it's also just easier to go to Bass Pro Shop. So I am going to go to Bass Pro Shop, and um, I will see you there. All right, well, we've made it to said park, um, and I was putting these away, and I just found a knife that I had lost for about a year. So that's actually really cool. So I'm gonna probably put in there and lose it again, but we are here, let's get set up. Well, it took about five seconds. Um, I'm using one arm to do one thing, but we got fish number one. We got our bluegill, a little, little sunny guy. Um, I'm going to be catching a lot more of these, so I'm going to be very picky on what I take. So uh, this is the first one, and uh, we'll keep going. Well, it's been nonstop sprinkling. I've only caught one other fish. Um, it was like <laughs> diseased. So I'm going to throw the one fish that I've already caught back, and then come back another day with my friend that I actually catch fish. He's caught fish in the past for me. So we're just gonna do that. Quick update. I'm going back to Barth Pond as I just got back. Uh, there's my car. Um, I just got back literally like um, not even a minute ago. Um, I also like the one the one thing I was actually gonna put on um, is right here. It was on, I left it on the floor. Um, I also forgot like the other little baits I was gonna bring. So I grabbed them and my boy's coming with me. So uh, instead of another day, we're doing it right now. Um, well, I've caught a bass um, on the same exact lure that I thought I was gonna catch bass on. And now I need to go get the bucket from my car. Um, I'm currently doing this with one hand with a rod in my hand. This is going great. Just doing a little bit of surgery there. His mouth is so small. <laughs> well, there he goes in the water. Well, uh, Shane has caught one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we're both very far away from the bucket. Is it smaller? Is it smaller? <laughs> there he goes. Yep. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, we tossed that one back. That one was not doing not doing too hot because I hooked him in the grill. The grill, you know, yes. That one's hypers. <laughs> Holy crap! Take that oh yeah. Back. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we go. We going back. Home time. So yeah, we gonna put him in a stock tank for now here. So. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, this thing is a absolute Spitfire. There it is. We have our largemouth bass. Little dude. How big is he? Oh. It's been a few days and uh, the bass has eaten all of the goldfish that were in this stock tank. It is currently 4th of July, which is nice and fun, um, but we're gonna feed all the goldfish that I put into here. They have become very used to uh, me feeding them by hand. They do not freak out. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a koi in here that accidentally got like mixed in with all these goldfish but I can't figure out, like every time I try to catch it, um, it doesn't show up, like it just disappears. So uh, I may just be tripping, I don't know. But let's check on the bass. Well, you can kind of see him. Uh, there he is. Um, so he's in the stock tank. He'll be in the stock tank, um, I don't know how long, because 
This bass needs to um, not eat all the goldfish in my pond because I want these goldfish to survive and get big and whatever, and they're getting big already. But there are no, there were like a good five goldfish in here. They're all dead, obviously, because someone ate them. You can't see them because the glare is really bad. Well, besides the food I have for uh, the goldfish, I also have food for the bass. Um, these are obviously just worms. Uh, let's get a small one here. I don't know if he's actually going to eat it. Um, we are going to toss it in, and you obviously can't see it, but I can let's see if he eats it. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, he smoked it. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, he smoked it. Let's feed him another one here. Oh, and I could not get him to uh, come up. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he smoked. You could see a little bit of that. That is good. We are training the bass. So last year, I had a bass, uh, you saw that video, and it was in here and it would come eat out of my hand, um, which was really, really cool. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do in this tank before I put him in here and hopefully doesn't eat all of my stupid amount of goldfish stuff. Yeah. Point is keeping them full. Well, that is going to do it for this video of all reptiles. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you live in the U.S., Happy 4th of July. This video will not be out of the 4th of July, but that's when I'm recording it. Um, we have a new bass, and uh, this is exciting. So I will see you on the next video.